Let's go. Okay. okay. First step is make the vinegar rice. Sumeshi. So it just literally means vinegar rice. So we're gonna make sumeshi first. Yeah, sumeshi. Okay. Yeah. okay. It's the normal rice. Just okay. get the normal rice. Do you need this? You what can, if you, you don't can, have you just boil you something? Do, yeah. If you have something like this, is there a name for this? This is uh, okay. Okay. So if you have this, it's like made out of wood. If you have this, use this. But if you don't have, mm -hmm. just use bowl, that's fine. Mm -hmm. So this is better. Yeah, better. Uh, I put rice to the okay. rice okay. mm -hmm. And uh, I put uh, vinegar. Vinegar, okay. But this is a special vinegar. It's for sushi. It's for sushi. Yeah. Uh, what's the difference? This has a uh, salt and uh, sugar uh -huh. and uh, dashi. Dashi is a uh, seaweed broth inside. And, uh, so it's sweeter, right? A little bit sweeter. Yes, yeah, sweet. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. So if you don't have that, maybe just get a regular vinegar and add a little sugar and salt. Sumeshi recipe. You will need three cups of short grain sushi rice and five tablespoon of sushi vinegar. If you don't have sushi vinegar, you will need 60 ml of vinegar, 3 tablespoon of white sugar, 1 tablespoon of salt. And it will be better if you have seaweed broth, not any seaweed but the seaweed called kombu broth. If you do have this broth, then put all the ingredients together and boil it. So this is for three to four servings. Shari-giri Shari-giri, so like you kind of cut and like mix it? Mix it. Uh, like that? Yeah, like that. Not to get stick to each other, ah. like mochi. Finish. Okay. So this is the sumeshi. Sumeshi, yeah. Vinegar rice. Vinegar rice. Oh. I, I put uh, wetty towel. Sweaty, Not sweaty towel, are you sure? <laughs> you don't want my towel? No, no, no. <laughs> so, uh, you don't want to leave the rice by itself because it's going to be dry. Mm. So in order to not make it dry, you get a towel and wet it and wet. just put it on top. Mm. Just like this. Yes, yes, yes. So this is step one. Step one. Okay. Finish. And yeah. Sumeshi. Okay. Mm. So, step two. Cutting the fish. So what is this called? Aji? Yeah, I don't know the name of this fish in English, but uh, yeah, it's called Jack. So the first step, cut the head. Okay. So do you have to cut right below the fin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right below this yeah, fin. Yeah. Second step, cut the belly, stomach, stomach of the fish. Take out the intestine. But it's better to have a good knife, right? House knife is not gonna be really good. Japanese knife is better. Better, of course, mm. right? It's it's way different. Oh, okay, so this is thick, so you can cut the bone. Oh. Uh, Okay, so cutting the what? Cutting the fish. Fish cutting the fish. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were doing that. Already. So, you, like, you make a line? I cut the skin. You cut the skin first. Okay. And uh, I'm, I'm gonna cut the meat. Oh, okay. Cut the skin first, make a line, and then cut the meat. So, I kind of seal the bone or something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, okay, and the other side, okay. Mm. Make a line. Mm. Make a line first. Mm. Okay. I'll cut the middle, okay. This mm. side, one. There's a big. Oh, okay, so there's like a what thick bone? Oh, right here. Ah, okay, you gotta cut this bone. So is this done? Yeah, one side. Oh, one side. Okay, and then the other side. Oh, cool. You 
like samurai? No. Japanese samurai? <laughs> You're not samurai? I'm not samurai. Oh yeah? You look I'm like? I'm sushi chef. Sushi right? chef? Okay. Yeah. So to determine if you did it perfect, yeah. is if, if there's meat left on the bone. So yeah. if there's meat, a lot of meat left on the bone, then you kind of fail. Yeah. But if there's less meat on the bone, then you pretty much success. So, so, so. so this is good, yeah? Maybe. So-so. So-so? Okay. <laughs> so, so. All right. Yeah, next oh, next step, okay. So the next step, you gotta cut this part because there's a bone. Perfect. It's gone, yeah? Oh, so you're not supposed to leave the white one. Maybe that's like the fats or something. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Okay, the other side. Alright, so this is how it looks like. So all the bone is not here. All the bone is no, gone. No, 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 no. Oh, there's in still the bones? Middle. Oh, in the middle, okay. Uh, this, 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 this. Oh, okay. So right here, the middle. Right here. Uh, okay, so we gotta take that out. Is this a tool for it? Yeah, to... For... to oh. So like if it's a big fish, mm. you just cut the middle, mm. maybe two times, maybe? Two times. And then, and then you can just like pull it. But if it's a small fish, mm. you cannot really do that because yeah, like a lot of meat's gonna disappear. Meat. Oh, that's a lot of work. Mm. Patience, yeah? Yeah. Ah, okay. Like you gotta use your finger to find where the bone is mm. and then I mean, like the customer is gonna really get mad, right? Yeah, bone, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I never had bone in my sushi. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get <laughs> mad. Yeah, that's, scary. that's it. And the next one. Your teacher said that the bones in the middle might be in this line. You see this line right here? You yeah. see this line, all these lines? So the bone is like on that line. No, so it depends on the fish. Sometimes it doesn't work. So it's better to fill with your finger. Finish? Yeah. And the uh, Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. Oh, there's a lot of work, yeah? Work. <laughs> oh, okay. Pull the skin. So usually um, other fish, you can just put the knife in between the skin and the meat and just put it in and then just cut it through and then you can pretty much take out the skin but for this fish it has this like bone it's like a bone right or well, i don't know if it's a bone but like it has this <laughs> thick skin and you can't really do that kuni style okay let's go あの、肌が硬いやつ魚がいるのよ。so the preparation is done like this is all and from here um, the cutting just depends on what kind of food you're gonna cook right like if you're gonna do sashimi or sushi and depending on that on the way you cut is different so if it's sushi put the back side on the bottom where the skin was cut like this like slanted so not straight down but you gotta be a little slant that's the key if I go to like a foreign country when they make sushi I see their fish like cut straight down, mm. but that's not it. Yeah, you have to cut it slanted mm. like this way. Mm. Okay, you gotta cut it in one slice. Oh, you no. cannot go like one, two, three. You gotta go one time, boom. Yep. Yep. Ooh, <laughs> it's gonna look more like sushi mm. if this part is a little thicker. So you wanna you wanna slant it and make it straight at the end, and then. Yeah, the back part is gonna be thicker. I think no foreigner knows that. Even Japanese, oh, even Japanese didn't don't know. Okay, <laughs> only master master knows this. Okay, we got some sushi secret. So this is the size of the fish that I have to cut. So I gotta try to cut it like this size: three point five times eight 
centimeter. And straight. Boom. How's this? Perfect. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I know what I did wrong. I cut it straight so then it, it made it small, but I gotta really make it slanted in order to make it bigger. So, yeah, that, that was my mistake. So, this time it's gonna work out. It's, uh, maybe this is a good idea, right? I put the paper like this? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. I'm not supposed to get a paper and go like this, but. But um, if you're a beginner, I think it's okay. So, <laughs> it's alright. I'm, I'm beginner. So, one time. The boom. Okay, boom. <laughs> How's this? Is this good? <laughs> oh, it's alright. Oh, okay, not bad. Yeah, not bad. better than better than before. Oh, yeah, the size alright. Alright, yeah. 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 Okay, I'm sushi master now, yeah? Hayai We sing the song for you. I land of us, the way what the canami was, I panaka, each and any